When I finished high school, mom asked me what I wanted to be. A banker, I said. And studying economics, I went to Mexico and lived in a Maya village. Interviewing a farmer one day, his little girl told me that she would go to bed at night without supper. It was a life-changing moment. From that moment on, I dedicated my life fighting hunger and poverty. Working with FAO, I learned the importance of farmers' association, cooperatives and farmers' unions. When those unions do their job, economic growth is high and the imbalances in food supply and employment are reduced. The differences in development between African and Asian countries can be explained contrasting agricultural investment rates and the role of farmers. In Korea and Taiwan, farmers associations were actively involved in the investment and development plans of the government and that boosted economic growth enormously. In China, villages are more prosperous when there are more cooperatives and more farmers integrated in those cooperatives. It doesn't only apply to Asia. The Netherlands is a high income country with a minor gap between the rich and the poor and democratic relations. The Netherlands never would have been such a nice country when it wasn't for its farmers' organizations, its trade unions, its cooperatives and all the other forms of voluntary association in economy and society. Companies nowadays go south in search of markets, supplies, investment opportunities. Linking those firms with farmers' organizations means connecting them to potentially powerful machines to reach out to the bottom of the economic pyramid. Retailers get the opportunity to get the agricultural products of millions of smallholders. Farmers' unions can become effective investment brokers. The World Bank highlights the emergence of farmers' unions in many countries. It sees it as an opportunity to start and invest again in agriculture. Hunger, poverty, street riots caused by high food prices can be avoided. The Netherlands has a vast experience in building strong farmers federations, successful cooperatives, negotiation platforms and chain arrangements. This expertise will become a necessary complement in all expert and investment efforts. Tapping into this experience, we can bring this knowledge to hundreds and millions of farmers worldwide. It will bring economic growth. It will enhance the economic quality and democracy in many countries of the world.